welcome back you guys welcome to my channel my name is mariana if you guys are new here welcome today is l set day oh my god i literally take it in four hours but i wanted to kind of show you guys what i did today you guys saw earlier kind of the brief of what i did today on um what i'm doing this morning and everything just to prepare for the LSAT, I'm going to talk about like what I did yesterday um, and just stuff leading up to it. If you guys haven't seen my videos of me practicing, like where I'm at right now, um, obviously I have mixed feelings taking the test today, but it is what it is. I have another try in October to do it just to submit my applications on time. And yeah, so I wish best of luck to everyone who's taking it. This video is going to be up by the time, like after everyone takes it has taken it so I hope everything went well but yeah if you guys want to see like what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day before I take it at four and um and just everything I did prior and stuff keep on watching okay so I'm gonna talk about what I did pretty much like yesterday and everything with you guys I don't know if it's too soon I have to like hold the flip mirror because um it's broken I tried to like glue it together but it's just completely broken. My camera's like destroyed. Anyway, so yesterday I just took the day off to relax. I mean, I worked in the morning, but afterwards I did not look at any LSAT. I did not touch anything. Um, and I just kind of relaxed a little bit and just kind of think about it and just say, I just have to go into the test tomorrow. And that's just how it is. It's, I studied, I studied a lot and I took prep courses but obviously I'm still not getting the score I want. I'm falling to the mid 40s at 140 and stuff. And I understand it's passing, but it's not it's not what I want to go. I don't I want to fall into the 160s at least. Um so considering that, I did register for the score preview, so I could cancel my score. If I do get like 150, I'm going to keep it. Um but I definitely do want to take it again. I think next week I'm going to register for the October LSAT because I know the deadline's coming up. So I do want to take that. Um, and at least it gives me two months to prepare on what I like faulted on. Um, and so, yeah, that's what the plan will be. If I don't do well, I'm going to focus. I know I need to focus more on reading comp because that's my struggle. Um, and just like other stuff, just reviewing that. So that's what I pretty much did yesterday, and I definitely do recommend that for maybe if someone's taking an October for the first time, just relax. Don't really do anything because if you, like, overwhelm yourself and just, like, try to cram it all in, you're just going to be, like, brain fried. And that's why this morning I decided to take it easy on myself, slept in a little bit because I always wake up early, and then I'm going to go get, like, a nice healthy breakfast. I did yoga. Just like relax with the family and stuff before I do take my test because I wanted to be in a right mindset. And um, I'm going to do like a little review of reading comp and go over logic games. Because um, if you guys saw in my series, I like, it's like possible for me to master logic games. I keep getting like 10 wrong. So if I could just master it completely, that could definitely help me in my score. But besides that, that's what I pretty much do did today and yesterday and that's kind of like what I recommend with you guys so the motion side about this is if I don't do well it is gonna suck because I just felt like I dedicated my whole summer working for this but I think this is gonna be one of those moments like one of my challenges in my life that I'm gonna have to overcome and just redo it again and it's I realize it's gonna be fine like I already know mentally like I'm probably gonna have to take it again and just go through that again I don't want to because I just want to be done and over with but it is what it is and that's just like the truth I don't want to be like sugarcoat with you guys like people are gonna have ups and downs and this is probably gonna be my down but I'm also trying to look at the positive side about it I might pass I might get a good score and that would be great but we'll see We'll see how it is until I'm done. I know after I'm done, I'm just going to kick back, relax, and not think about the LSAT for a week. And then um, I'm definitely going to start my personal statement tomorrow probably because I need to send it to my letters of recommendations. I could get that in as well because I do not 
plan to apply until like October. I know applications open up very soon, but I don't want to send my ins until it's solid. Like I think I have a very well applicate application, so I don't mind like having to wait another month to send my applications in. So we will see. Um, right now, I'm just testing my computer to make sure like everything works, and then I'm gonna go over reading comp. Right now that I'm trying, trying to figure out, I know like the LSAC is like on Eastern time zone. So I'm trying to decide like, okay, I registered for 4, 420. So is that 320 here? Like, I don't know. So I'm going to have to double check really quick about that so I don't miss it. I mean, I'm just going to log on just in case so I don't miss it because that would be horrible. But yeah, I also wanted to give a huge shout out for my subscribers who actually like reached out to me. And just, it's good to know I have, like, to see that my videos are helping, but also you guys enjoy them. That you guys are, like, in the same journey of how I am. And just, like, I don't know, it just makes my day so much to see that from you guys. And just seeing, like, it helps. And you guys are happy to be on this journey with me. And any video you guys want me to do, whether it's just, like, school-related or just, like, actually law school and stuff, any questions any types of videos about them, just let me know and I'm so happy, more than happy to do that for you guys because that's like the point why I really wanted to continue my channel because I was so hesitant about just stopping for a while, but like I knew this would help. There's so many videos out there that helped me and I wanted to be that same person for you guys, so I'm so happy about that and yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. You guys, I have so many packages. There's Target. I just don't want to show my address. To show you guys, um, I'm going to do a haul later. So stay tuned for that video and on TikTok. But got a lot of stuff for DC. Okay, so one more hour until I take the exam. I did some practice of logic games and stuff. Like in and out games. And then I went over some reading comp. But reading comp is just really... Like you could try to study for a bit, just kind of just knowing the words and just reading the passage right. So that's what I'm just going to have to do. Hopefully the extra section, because there are four sections this time. I'm just no, no longer LSAT flex. I know, I think June was like the last LSAT flex, but I'm going to go eat a little something, rest for a little bit more, and then before I bring all my stuff down. I'll say one more thing for you guys, and then that's it. Okay, you guys, I forgot to film this before I jump onto my test, so I figured I still have to spare minutes, like 10 more minutes before I have to take the test and ignore my chin. I was always doing this, my skin's so sensitive. But I'm about to take the test, and a lot of nerves going on. I have, like, my anxiety right now is up here, but this is my chance to take it, and if it doesn't go well, right, I'll take it again. And if it does, great. Don't have to ever worry about this Elsa ever again. But yeah, so this is what I know. I didn't do a lot of like Elsa prep videos because I wasn't unsure. Maybe this was for my channel, but it was. And so I'm happy I put them out there, and I hope they were helpful for you guys. If I do retake this. I will do more videos of my LSAT prep and I'm just happy that I'm able to help you guys and now we're here August 14th of 2021 taking my admission test for law school and this is the next journey of my academic career so I'm gonna end this video I'll do like one more clip after this after I'm done with the test which just won't be later till night but I'm going to end it, and I hope that everything went well for you guys. If you guys take the August 14th one, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys in a few hours. Hi, you guys. I am done officially with the LSAT. I am not going to, like, discuss, like, everything because I was a security reasons and, like, you can't. So I'm going to do a whole video of, like, how I felt and everything but this is pretty much what I did prior to taking up to the LSAT. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everything went well for you guys if you guys did take it today and um, we'll see my score. I won't know my score until two weeks, two to three weeks. It's like the first week of September so 
I won't know. I'll definitely do a video of that for you guys, even if I don't do well, because this is like the real thing. I want to show you. I want to be so transparent for you guys. So even if I don't do well, I'll put that out there. But yeah, so that is all for right now. Once I start doing more law school stuff, I will share that with you guys. And I'll share that on my Instagram as well if you guys want to check that out. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys later.